The Vivo X5 Pro is well designed and has a good display and performance, but it is equally bad when it comes to camera and pricing. Vivo is yet another Chinese brand trying to make its presence felt in the Indian smartphone market. The company entered the Indian market last year with the Vivo X5 Max and it has launched a number of devices since then. So does the Vivo X5 Pro justify its price tag? Let's find out in this review. The device is well built with metallic frame fitting seamlessly with the rest of the phone's body. In addition, the glass on the back of the phone is Gorilla Glass, making it sturdier and harder to scratch, but you still do have glass which can break. The Vivo X5 Pro is a dual SIM phone and supports micro SD card expansion. However, there is a hybrid SIM slot which means you can either use it as a dual SIM device or with a SIM and an SD card. Display is one of the strongest areas of this device. The Vivo X5 Pro sports a 5.2 inch Super AMOLED display with a resolution of 1920 by 1080p. The phone has a sharp display with good viewing angles. The display is bright and the color depth is quite nice. The sunlight visibility is also respectable. Of course, the yellowish tinge of AMOLED displays is something many may not like, but that doesn't make the display bad. The smartphone runs on Vivo's own UI named FunTouch OS, which is based on Android Lollipop 5.0. The software lacks an app drawer, similar to so many custom UIs today. In addition, the FunTouch OS offers an app called iManager, which is an app that lets you access data manager, battery manager, app manager, etc. from one place. The software also lets you set custom gestures for launching apps and performing certain tasks. There are a few things about the OS which I found weird and didn't like though. For example, the phone didn't show music controls on the lock screen for any other music app except for the stock app, which comes pre-installed on the phone. The smartphone is powered by a 1.5 GHz octa-core Qualcomm Snapdragon 615 SoC coupled with 2 GB of RAM. The processor handles most daily tasks really well except for a few instances. It performed quite well even during multitasking. As for gaming, I played Real Racing 3 in WWE 2K and the lag were similar to many other 615 driven smartphones that we've seen before. It does heat up quite easily enough as we've noticed on Snapdragon 615 before this as well. As for sound quality, the Vivo X5 Pro is loud enough. There are two speaker grills at the bottom but it seems the sound comes from only the one on the left. Music is better through headphones. The Vivo X5 Pro has a non-removable 2450mAh battery. The battery won't last you for one full day, but with moderate use, it can take you through a work day, say about 12 hours, so that you can reach home and put it on charge. During our battery test, the phone lasted for 12 and a half hours. As for my daily usage, the time varied anywhere from 11 to 13 hours. Camera is one department where the Vivo X5 Pro really disappointed. On paper, the device has a 13 megapixel rear camera with flash and an 8 megapixel front shooter, but in reality, it's not up to the mark. As for the rear camera, the images taken in daylight are subdued, and in low light, they come out to be even worse and the flash doesn't help either. The Vivo X5 Pro offers you good design, build and display, along with good enough battery, but lets you down in the camera department. Also, the device uses the second SIM slot for microSD card expansion, meaning you will have to sacrifice one for using the other feature. It's priced in the 20k to 30k range, which makes it quite expensive in terms of both what it offers as well as in comparison to other devices like OnePlus 2, OnePlus One, and Asus Zenfone 2 available in the market. So after reading the review and knowing the price, if you want to go for the phone, you can, but it is quite hard to recommend it. Mm -hmm.